welcome back. We're going to read The Fire Cat by Esther Avril. This is a really old book. This was my cousin's book when he was little, my sister's book when she was little, and then it was passed down to me. So it's really old. Pickles. Once upon a time, there was a yellow cat with black spots in his fur. His name was Pickles. Pickles was a young cat, but his paws were big, and he wished to do big things with them. But where could Pickles find anything big to do? Pickles lived in the barrel, and the barrel was all that he had for a home. Pickles' barrel was an old yard where there was nothing big to do. So what did Pickles do? He ran after little cats. And he ran after every little cat that came into the yard. And he chased the little cat out of the yard. That was a bad, bad thing. But it was all that Pickles could find to do. Next to Pickles' yard was a house. And in the house lived many cats who called out to Pickles. You are bad. You cannot be our friend. But Pickles did have a friend in the house. His friend was Mrs. Goodkind. She's watching him from the window. Every day, Mrs. Goodkind came into the yard and gave Pickles something to eat. One day, Mrs. Goodkind said, Pickles, you're not a bad cat. You're not a good cat. You're good and bad, and bad and good. You are a very mixed up cat. What you need is a good home. Then you will be good. Mrs. Goodkind picked up the mixed up cat and she took him into her home to live. In Mrs. Goodkind's home, there was a pretty chair for Pickles to sit on. There were toys for him to play with. But Pickles did not want to sit on a pretty chair and he did not want to play with toys. So he ran back to his barrel in the yard and he began to chase the cats again. Mrs. Goodkind said to Pickles, things cannot go on this way. Something will happen. The next day, Pickles chased a little cat up an old tree and then he climbed up after her. Pickles sat in the tree near the little cat and he would not let her climb down. After a time, the wind began to blow. It blew and blew and blew, and the rain came down harder and harder. At last, Pickles let the little cat climb down and go home. Pickles wanted to climb down too. He wanted to get back to his barrel, but he could not climb down. Sometimes this happens to a cat, and it happened to Pickles. He's way up in the tree. So Mrs. Goodkind ran to the tree Pickles, she called, please try to climb down. But Pickles could not climb down. Mrs. Goodkind ran into her house. Pickles could see her by the window. She was talking on the telephone. Then she called out to Pickles, the firemen are coming, the firemen are coming. A fire truck came up the street and stopped at Pickles' yard. Three firemen jumped down from the truck. Mrs. Goodkind came out of her house she ran to the fireman and she pointed up at Pickles in the tree. The fireman put a ladder against the tree and one of the firemen began to climb up the ladder. The fireman climbed to the top of the ladder. Come cat, he said to Pickles, let me help you. The fireman picked up Pickles and tucked him into his coat and then he took Pickles down the ladder down to Mrs. Goodkind. Mrs. Goodkind, said the fireman, is this your cat? No, Joe, said Mrs. Goodkind. Pickles has no home and he does not want to live with me. Why? asked Joe. Mrs. Goodkind answered, my home is too little for Pickles. Pickles is a cat who wishes to do big things and someday he will do them. Look at his paws. Pickles picked out a paw for Joe to see. See his big paws? My goodness, Pickles, said Joe. What big paws you have. 
Pickles looked at Joe and said one word he could say. Meow. And Joe could see that Pickles wanted something very much. See him there? Joe gave Pickles a pat. Pickles, he said, I will take you to our firehouse. Maybe our chief will let you stay. The fire cat. Joe took Pickles to the fire chief, who was sitting at his desk. See the chief. Oh, said the chief, I know this young cat. He's the one that chases little cats. How do you know? asked Joe. The chief answered, a fire chief knows many things. Just then, the telephone began to ring. Hello, said the chief. Oh, hello, Mrs. Goodkind. Yes, Pickles is here. Yes, he came with Joe. What did you say? You think Pickles would like to live at our firehouse? Well, we shall see. Thank you, Mrs. Goodkind. Goodbye. The chief looked at Pickles and said, Mrs. Goodkind says, you are not a bad cat and Joe likes you. I will let you live here if you learn to be a good firehouse cat. Pickles walked away quietly up the stairs after Joe. Joe and Pickles went into a room where the firemen lived. The men were pleased to have a cat. They wanted to play with Pickles, but suddenly the fire bell rang and all the firemen ran to the big pole and down they went. The pole was the fast way to get to their trucks. Pickles could hear the truck start up and rush off to the fire. See, Pickles is right there behind them. Pickles said to himself, I must learn to do what the firemen do. I must learn to slide down the pole. He jumped and put his paws around the pole and he fell with a bump. See, he's trying to slide, but he doesn't have hands like we have. Bumps or no bumps, I must try again, said Pickles. And up the stairs he ran and down the pole he came and bumped and tried again and bumped. But by the time the fireman had come back from the fire, Pickles could slide down the pole. What a wonderful cat you are, said the fireman. But the chief did not say anything yet. Pickles said to himself, I must keep on learning everything I can. So he learned to jump up onto one of the big trucks. He's jumping up. And he learned to sit up straight on the seat while the truck raced to the fire. What a wonderful cat you are, said the fireman. But the chief did not say anything. Pickles said to himself, now I must learn to help the firemen with their work. At the next fire, he jumped down from the truck. He ran to a big hose. He put his paws around it and he tried to help the firemen shoot the water at the flames. What a wonderful cat you are, said the fireman. But the chief did not say anything. The next day, the chief called all the firemen to his desk. Then he called for Pickles. Pickles did not know what was going to happen. He said to himself, maybe the chief does not like the way I work. Maybe he wants to send me back to my old yard. But Pickles went to the chief and the chief's desk and at the chief's desk stood all the firemen and Mrs. Goodkind. The old tree. Oh, sorry, I skipped a page. The chief said to Pickles, I have asked Mrs. Goodkind to come because she was your first friend. Pickles jumped up on my desk. Oh no, Pickles, jump up on my desk. I have something to say to you. Pickles jumped up on the desk and looked at the chief. Out of the desk, the chief took a little fire hat. Pickles, said the chief, I have watched you at your work. You have worked hard and the time has come for you to know that you are now our fire cat. And with these words, the chief put the little hat on Pickle's head. The old tree. Pickles made friends with all the firemen, but he did not make friends with any cats. When cats came to the firehouse to look at the trucks, 
Pickles chased them away. The chief called to Pickles, the chief called Pickles to him and said, a fire cat must be kind to everyone. You must be good to the other cats. And little by little, Pickles learned to be good to the cats he met. And he made friends with them too. Then all the cats loved to come to the firehouse. On rainy days, most cats stayed at home and Pickles sat upstairs with the firemen. One rainy day, as he sat there, he thought to himself, how bad I was when I chased those other cats. Once I chased a little cat up a tree. Oh me, oh my, why did I do that? Suddenly Pickles heard the chief call out, cat in a tree. Fireman Joe and two other men slid down the pole and Pickles slid down after them. He heard the chief say, the tree is in the old yard next to Miss Goodkind's house. Oh, thought Pickles, that's the yard where I live, and that's the tree. Pickles jumped onto the truck with the three firemen. Did he sit in there? Away they rode to the yard, and there in the wind and the rain stood Mrs. Goodkind, pointing to a very little cat. Look, he's so tiny. The firemen put a ladder against the tree, and the ladder scared the little cat and she ran to a higher branch where a fireman could not go. Joe said to Mrs. Goodkind, I don't know what to do, but Pickles knew. He began to climb the ladder. Pickles climbed up and up and up. It was hard work, but at last he came to the top of the ladder and he climbed up the tree until he came to the little cat. Come cat, he said to her. Let me help you. He picked her up and took her gently down to Mrs. Goodkind. Mrs. Goodkind thanked Pickles and then she said to him, I always knew that someday you would do big things. Today you have done something very big. Pickles waved a paw at her as if to say, Mrs. Goodkind, this is only the beginning and he rode home to the firehouse, a proud and happy cat. The end. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that book. Like and subscribe. Have a great day.